Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of One Question and One Answer. We're gonna have some fun today. I'm here with my friends Mike and Kelly and Maddie, and I don't know how anybody could possibly shake hands for this long. It's very comfortable. I'm trying to break the 19 second set by our president. I can't do it, I can't do it. So speaking of our president, he loves Twitter. And if you know me at all, you know I love Twitter. So I thought with all of the interesting tweeting that he's been doing, um, the one thing we can all agree on, whether you, whatever side, as people like to say, you're on, um, we can all agree he could use some help uh, with the Twitter and with, the, with, the tw with his tweets. And um, so we wanted to ask the question today, uh, what if a PR person were to actually write his tweets? What, what would they sound like? Would they be a little nicer, maybe a little bit more uh, productive, uh, if you will? So uh, we're gonna go around here and I thought we could have some fun Maddie, Kelly, and Mike, they all picked one tweet that he's sent out recently, and then they rewrote it as if it was from a PR pro. So let's get started. Maddie, what do you got? You're up first. All right, my tweet from the real Donald Trump is, when will the Democrats give us our attorney general and the rest of cabinet? They should be ashamed of themselves. No wonder DC doesn't work. So I changed mark. it to yeah. lots well, of exclamation yeah. points. I updated it to say, I'm looking forward to having the rest of my cabinet in place. Together we will create smart policies that will make America great again. Yes. Spoken like a true PR pro. And, uh, I like it. And Thanks. now when I read a Donald Trump tweet, I will have your voice. Aww. Yeah, that's nice. Very nice. Yeah. Maddie yeah. did a good job of staying on yeah. brand too. I like mm -hmm. how you added the make well, America you have great to, again. Yeah, you have that to keep that, that in there. Yeah. You, that was a good PR 101. Thing. Yes. Um, uh, Kelly, I, I'm what do you sitting got? here reading some fake news while, <laughs> while pondering which tweet to re-articulate yes. in, a, in a kindness way. There's a lot. So the, the tweet I chose was, quote, the fake news media is going crazy with their conspiracy theories and blind hatred. At MSNBC and at CNN are unwatchable. At Fox and Friends is great. <laughs> yes. So obviously I, I'm reading someone else's thoughts here. Yes. They're not my own. Not I don't right. want to mess up any pitches mm -hmm. I have out there. No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, if we are recomposing the tweet, and I gotta pat myself, this is exactly 140, and I followed Good all job. grammar rules. Nice. I encourage everyone to become educated on today's topics and to debate with your fellow citizens to improve our country's policies for all. I like Much that. better. I, I feel better already, just if that was the actual tweet. Then and I might actually watch and if it's sometimes. actually how we behaved as a country. I think that's one lesson as a step aside, regardless of what side of the aisle you're on, yes. is that, um, there are some examples being set, but we still get to decide for our own how we want to behave. That's right. Exactly. I do agree with you. I think that um, regardless of, of this, and it's been an interesting three weeks, I, I don't know if there's an excuse to act a certain way. And mm -hmm. I think some professionalism or, or a different tenor could go a long way in making people feel a little bit more at ease yes. with some of what is being said. Because and I don't you can know only people, control yourself. That's right. I don't know if people disagree with what's being said at times. I know, yes, they are at times, mm -hmm. but I don't know if it's as much as what's being said as how it's how being said. Yes. Yeah. I think that could go a long way. Well, yeah, we're talking about being more polite and nice, for lack of a better word, but I wonder, if will that get the number of retweets mm -hmm. that oh, the original true. did? Not that it's true. You know, when I elevate language and, I guess, politeness, but at what extent? You know, mm -hmm. Oh, gosh, this, he's polite, but boring. Yeah, you know, okay. that's right. But you know, if you want to clean them up here, I have one, and it's it, it's hard to go through his tweets. He has so many that are in the moment, but then a week later you forget about them. What was that one? So who knows? By the time people are watching this, there could be a whole new, that's right. whole yeah. new crazy tweet. That's this right. is already which, old news. Which I've I've learned now. If there is a crazy tweet out there, I'm going to read the news just to see if something else is that's going right. on. Mm -hmm. Like. I said we're before we started shooting. We're the most politically informed we've yeah. ever been. That's right. <laughs> Thanks to this. Yes. yes. I want to make sure. Yeah. If he's complaining about not enough onions on a burger at McDonald's, I'm going to look at the newspaper to see if I've been drafted or something. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, just just make sure I'm not being distracted. <laughs> but anyway, I got so looking at the tweets. I found one that I think a lot of us remember, and it was just a week ago. My daughter Ivanka has been treated so unfairly by at Nordstrom. She's a great person, always pushing me to do the right thing. Terrible. Not terrible. So there was a few things to unpack mm -hmm. there, you know, and people would bring, well, are you always doing 
bad things and she pushes you in the right direction. But I thought, how could we turn this to make it more of a positive? You know, he's he's a father, he's probably that's right. feeling it. You, you have know. so much in common. Well, yeah, so much in common. Yes. I have a daughter who I don't let go to Nordstrom. <laughs> and he had a daughter who used to be in Nordstrom. So anyway, I thought I'd, you know, spin it a little bit like this. Nordstrom dropped Ivanka's clothing line. I know it's just business, but as her dad, it hurts. I want to tell her she has my undying support, just like she gives to me. Oh, okay. yeah. That's, that's nice. nice. That's nice. Yeah. really likable. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, you know, the reality is, this is fun. Yeah. We're, we're in a situation where it's it's something different mm -hmm. every day. And in a PR and marketing agency, and we're supposed to be reacting to something yeah. different every day for our clients. President Trump, call us. We we can help with can your help. tweet. You have something to say. We know it, and we can help. So <laughs> mainly Mike Lawrence would rewrite them oh, yeah. um, because that was wonderful. Um, but I think that uh, some uh, time with a PR person or a firm could go a long way, right? Yes. So, so there's the moral of the story. Today's lesson. So hope you enjoyed that one. That was fun. Um, until next week, we'll see you next time.